Hi, in this video I am going to show you how to perform some of the most important uh, mathematical uh, techniques on, on Python. I am going to take uh, Jupyter Notebook in order to show you. Um, Python as we know that it's an interactive programming language. So what do we mean by interactive programming language is that you can take uh, each line of a Python code and run it independently and you can see the results by yourself. So uh, each line of the code are independent of each other. So uh, you know, so it's an interactive programming language where you can simply uh, you know run each line of Python code. Um, so it's simple. I'm going to solve some of the most important and very basic uh, mathematical operations like addition, subtraction, uh, multiplication, division, checking uh, equality, less than e equal to, um, greater than equal to, and so on. And how do we uh, do? You know, do, do or how do we use this operation on single numbers and list of numbers, matrices, and so on? So, I'm going to show you some of these basic things. So, let's get started. We'll uh, add two numbers. So, simple. Uh, we simply put the plus sign or the uh, sign for addition of two numbers, as we have you know uh, learned in our in the school maths. We simply add two numbers by you know putting a cross sign, right? Um, plus sign. So we're adding 10 plus 20 and let's see what the result is 30 right we can add as many numbers as we want right uh, it's going to give us 50 but when you have list of numbers okay so we define list uh, a and b having more than one number okay list a having one two three list b having four five six when we add them we're not going to get you know more like a matrix addition it's not going to add the corresponding number it's not going to add 1 to 4 2 to 5 or 3 to 6 it's simply going to append the numbers and okay let me show it for you so this is what we get so what we get is that um, you know when we uh, add a and b it's simply the, the number or elements of this uh, uh, in this list simply get uh, appended to each other so 1 2 3 followed by 4 5 6 and if you change the order, it's simply um, going to append in the reverse order. Okay, so that's what it is. You see the elements of the second matrix, uh, second list first, four, five, six, followed by one, two, three. But how do we add more like we add uh, to matrices, right? How do we add? We have to take help of what is uh, known as the NumPy library. It's uh, uh, it's a uh, you know a maths library within Python using which we can do a number of uh, things one of the things that we can do we, ca we can add uh, two matrices using uh, the numpy so we will import numpy first and then we will add uh, we will use the function add add um, and pass on the parameters as a and b so what it's going to do is that it will consider a and b as matrices and it will add them up more like matrix form so we'll get 1 plus 4 5 2 plus 4 7 and 6, 3 plus 6 9 okay so let's run this part of the code so that's what we're expecting 5 7 9 right so we have to be a bit careful while doing the addition a uh, simple addition is just an append of one matrix to the other it's not actual matrix uh, you know addition okay there are other ways to even add matrices um, so we can define a and b in such a way that uh, at the time of defining the uh, this list we um, uh, we uh, assume that or rather when we use the np under, uh, dot ra it's going to assume that a and b both are matrices and when we add them they are going to be added more like matrix uh, addition okay so if change the syntax a bit a equal to np uh, dot array and then put uh, whatever number of uh, um, array at whatever number of uh, elements you want to have in the array uh, or in the matrix A and similarly the matrix B A plus B and then you should be getting okay uh, 5 7 9 okay something that we got uh, in the previous uh, type of addition right you using np dot uh, add subtraction uh, more like uh, addition is same you simply subtract one number from the other um, 
and the, you use the subtraction sign okay the negative sign or minus what do we call it so 20 minus 8 is just 12 okay um, so we can also do that um, for uh, matrix subtraction as well uh, remember we have redefined uh, our matrices like this not like the one plot like list uh, type not like this um, we have used npn dot array in order to redefine a and b so now we should be able to uh, subtract should not be a problem so b minus a is what we're trying to get so what we get is 3 3 3 which is you know 4 minus 1 is 3 5 minus 2 is 3 6 minus 3 is also 3 multiplications again pretty simple uh, you simply use the multiplication sign uh, the cross sign 22 multiplied to 44 so it's, it gives us 968 okay how do we multiply uh, matrices okay so can we do that okay so let's do that a multiplied to b and we'll see a somewhat strange value this is not how we multiply matrices right do we no so although uh, addition and subtractions are all fine but we cannot multiply matrices like this so what it does is that it simply multiplies the corresponding values 1 multiplied to 4 2 multiplied to 5 and 3 multiplied to uh, 6 which is not true that's not how we multiply in fact these true matrices a and b cannot be multiplied right if you know what mat uh, matrix multiplication is um, you know you should ensure that the number of rows um, uh, uh, the number of columns in the first matrix should exactly be same as the number of rows in the second matrix right but that's not what it is so it's not going to uh, I mean we cannot multiply these two matrices A and B but it gives us somewhat misleading information because it simply you know uh, multiplies the corresponding elements which is not going to give the correct result but how do we actually multiply two matrices so we'll define two different matrices which can well be multiplied ensuring that the rows in the first uh, sorry the columns in the first um, matrix is equal to the rows in the second matrix and here it is we have a 2 cross 2 matrix uh, of x and 2 cross 2 matrix y so we can multiply them so we define x and y okay pretty much the way we define a and by a and b and then we use np uh, dot dot so the function dot um, which is there in the um, library np numpy is going to help us performing the matrix product uh, or the uh, dot product okay more technically dot product of two matrices so let's run this yes and if you uh, multiply those two matrix x and y using hand you will get uh, the exactly the same answer okay then how do we divide two numbers simple we use simply division sign that we often have seen on other programming lang languages in excel and in other even sql and so on is the same so 25 by 4 uh, let's see okay it comes out to be 6.25 now if you do not want the fraction part the 0.25 you simply use two division sign okay that's going to take away that's going to remove the fraction part uh, of what we get uh, so it removes 0.25 and what we would get is simply 6 how do we get the power of two numbers like 4 to the power 2 which is you know is, is 16 right so 4 and then 2 stars and then 2 right so we should be getting 16 right uh, what about 4 to the power q 64 right and then some logical operators okay we like to check uh, whether expression 1 is matching with expression 2 um, or uh, or something is matching with something else or not and secondly we'll also see um, you know if two conditions are true what is the answer and if one of the condition is true what is the answer and, and so on so okay let's see the first one the conditional operator like you know 2 equal to so this is the uh, check of equality operators whether first one is equal to the second one or not 
and it's going to give you the true or false right so it is given true so 2 equal to uh, 3 uh, it should be false right so what about checking you know both conditions so we have checked here with the 2 equal to 2 and 2 equal to 3 that means both have to be correct in order to get uh, us true but both are not correct just one of them is correct right so we get false few more things so we define p and q p equal to 10 and q equal to 12 so whether p is equal to q right so basically what we're trying to do is here is uh, we're assigning you know numbers to variables and we are comparing the variables so be false right false uh, and in order to see whether they are not equal to each other we simply use the exclamatory uh, you know mark uh, in place of the first equal to sign okay so it should be true right p is not equal to q so it gives us true in other way also we can write whether p is q whether p and q refer to the same element or same number right it, it's not right so it should give us false right uh, the not equal to thing can also be written as p is not q right it it should give true um yeah that's what we get greater than sign p is greater than q false because 10 is not greater than 12 uh, less than simply use less than and it should be true right because 10 is less than 12 of course right so these are some of the most important uh, mathematical operators that you can you can use on any types of pro, um, you know um, Python programming uh, environment not necessarily on Jupyter you can use on IPython on um, the basic Python idle and so on